Thank you very much. Um, you've come to my front room uh, to join us in a little bit of work. Um, I'm very glad to share uh, the opportunity to see what goes on really in the minds of uh, people that are in the profession versus what's in the minds of those that are aspiring to be in the profession. Uh, there is a nice way, I think, where we can offer uh, some good pointers. I hope that we can generate some debate. Um, I think the greatest artists are those who come with their ideas, not fully formed, perhaps, but who are challenged in order to make decisions about how they communicate. And that is what this is about. We have the remarkable opportunity as artists to delve deep within ourselves and using the material that we have been blessed with, intelligence, physique, opportunity to make the most of what we have. And those that are brave enough put themselves in front of other people to communicate that relationship with love, death, existence, all the challenges that we have in relationship. So I'm hoping that through the wonderful music of Mozart, through uh, some wonderful English poetry today, uh, that we will find some really inspirational uh, moments. So th that's the end of my speaking directly to you. However, I would ask that if I'm going to have some, uh, shall we say, democratic um, appraisal of the work that we're doing here, I may just refer to you, and please do be honest in your appraisals of what is going on up here. All right? That would be very helpful to, not me, I don't care about me, I'm, I've had enough appraisal, but for these, for these people that, from whom, for whom a situation like this is uh, rather special because they're being made to do things immediately and try things which they may f feel is a little uh, new, novel, they may feel, feel a little insecure, but we love them really, don't we? So let's give them um, all our support um, at this stage in any case. Um, and I'm very happy, <laughs> I'm very happy to welcome our first um, uh, student, and that is Nick Pritchard. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I've known it for, for a good while, though. Okay, good. Well, let's start with the Mozart. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, it's always nice to see where people prefer to be, because then if we just have the, the, the idea that we're launching in with something that shows you are a real singing stuff, okay? I like you already. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Let's go for it. Just tell me what it is, where it's from. It's um, un'aura amorosa with a very short bit of recit beforehand um, from Così fan tutte. And what are you talking about? Um, in the point of the story, he still believes... Well, we've got a long way to go in the, ho in the whole opera yet, but at this point he um, still believes that Fiordaligi, his, um, his lover, um, is faithful, but it turns out kind of um, the opposite. We don't know that yet, so this is a very sort of idealistic view um, of... What, of how he sees love at this precise moment in the opera. Great. <laughs> Oh, 
like Mozart, is there? <laughs> Wonderful. Ian Tyndale. Yes. Tyndale? Tyndale. Tyndale. Thank you very much. Wonderful orchestra. Mm. Um, don't ever forget your orchestra uh, singers. They are the backbone of what we do. Most people won't show up to a concert where it's just a singer. So um, <laughs> make sure you're in their favor and uh, learn your stuff. Yeah. So, thank you. Um, Ian, I wonder, can you play just the first bars of accompaniment uh, of the aria? Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's so simple, and yet it's so amazingly beautiful. Um, so, over this, is this amazing idea of this one line. Um, I had the fortune to, one of my first pro involvements in Cosi Van Tutte was directed by, uh, was conducted uh, musically by uh, Murray Pariah. And he could sing on the piano like none of us could sing on the stage. So, and he was able to make this legato line, this absolute seamless sound in in his playing in a right-hand way while this kind of lovely pulse was going on underneath. And I just wondered if we can investigate the idea of absolute seamless, seamless sound for you. So I'm just going to ask you to sing literally just on, the, on, a, on an R, ah, just on an R, ah, just, just your first phrase, okay? Okay, okay. Don't 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 mark the um, don't mark the beats. Just just absent just the notes, as it were, no, not the articulation. Okay, good, good, good. That that that's that's great. Now, I would just wonder if you can if you can you be a little more insistent. Is really the word that I want with the traveling of the air through the sound. So that actually there's, wherever you are in the pitch, in your pitching, is actually within this sort of, um, this framework here. So that the delivery of the sound is completely consistent. Mm. So there's no swells, there's no kind of changing, whenever you go higher it's up, or when you're lower it's kind of more relaxed. I want it to literally to be this, this continuous, it's like a stream, literally. Just keep the, the breath flowing all the time. And I want you to just kind of relax, feel, to feel that there's no one here listening or judging what you're doing. It's actually just more of a feeling. And I don't expect you to be able to get to the end of the phrase in one breath. That would be an, I, in fact, don't get to the end of the phrase. 
I want to just to see what that opens up for you. So, okay? Okay, yeah. So when you're going from that first, that, 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 that maybe you can just link it a bit. Uh, okay. That's, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, see if you. Okay, okay. Now you'll notice, you'll notice that when he reaches that second note, there's a moment when things don't phonate as they do when he first makes his sound. So, this is, sorry, yeah, we're getting the magnifying glass on you right now, okay? So what I want you to try and do is insist that the same way you're vibrating on that first note carries to the second, okay? See what we can do. Okay, yeah, I, I want you to really insist, I, and use the slide even, just to link okay. it. Just, just, it's, it's a way just to keep the, it's an exercise. We're using yeah. Mozart as an exercise now, okay? Just, just try that, see if we can. Okay, you're a very, very sensitive musician. I don't want you to think about the words, I really want you to just link them. Ah, see what I mean? Just absolutely. What I'm hearing, and I think they are too, is I'm hearing. Ah, ah, okay. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Ah, even if you want to literally slide, okay. okay, to keep it in the same vibrational space. Mm. All right. See, see, it takes determination of, of that. Mm. Okay, you have to insist. That has to be very relaxed and open. Yeah. Okay, try again. Yes, 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 okay, yes, yes, yes. Now, what's interesting, because actually, in your sensitivity, you're a little under the pitch, but that's great, okay? What it shows is you're willing to sacrifice the, the, the idea of being perfectly in pitch and in tune to the actual mechanics of making the sound. And that is so important. The, the pitching will come, I promise you. But just to link that vibration, what happens is the voice suddenly goes and you hear it around the, the hall. And actually, if you can incorporate this, it won't happen today, but in six months, a year, if you just keep that in mind, what will happen is that will become automatic and it will actually reduce your burden of activity. Because the more you resonate in those kind of things, the less pressure there is here. It's kind of, it's a bizarre thing where you think, well, if I'm insisting that surely it's using more, but actually they begin to relax and you'll find you have more breath, curiously, because you're having to make less sound. You're using less energy to make the sound because the sound is doing that already. Okay? Just once more. Yeah. <coughs> and for the rest of your life. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. Don't enjoy it. Right. <laughs> Don't enjoy it. It's, no, no, it's really, I, you have to, that's a kind of real focus and determination right here to, to insist that this connection happens, okay? It's only a third, minor third. It's not long, it's not far, but in physical terms it feels huge, but insist. You did it, so you can do it again. Okay, okay, okay. And do the same when you're coming down. Uh, okay, so that, the, so that the breath never, never is abandoned. Or that the, the phonation is never abound, abandoned by the flow. Yeah. Okay? So you're always providing, always providing phonation. Um, anybody wind instrument players here? Reed instruments, oboists, clarinetists, yeah. formerly, formerly. Oh, my gosh, we have one of the top clarinetists here. Um, uh, this wonderful clarinetist will, no, will advise you that as soon as you withdraw the air from a length, length of tube, the reed will actually stop to vibrate, and it will, the, the sound will fall off. Okay, let's keep that going. Any cellists? Anyhow. You did. Oh, well, you come on. That's the string, okay? That, that the string is that, and the breath is that, okay? That's the constant, the constant flow, yeah? 
Let's try. Right to the end of the race. Yeah. Still off. Still off. Baby steps. Okay, okay, you're, you're being very brave. I can feel you're being brave. We're, we're nearly there. Can you spend the next five years doing this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, because actually the, the, the dividends are great, okay? Because what will happen is it doesn't matter what vowel you put in this thing, your voice will ride everywhere, okay? One of the hardest things that we ever encountered uh, in our musical training when I was here with you was singing Mozart. There has been this illusion, I think, in general training circumstances, that Mozart is good for young singers. It's really hard. It's hard because he makes, it, he makes the simplicity very, very exposed. And actually, if we don't get these fundamentals of absolute singing tone, of absolute breath flow, of, of flexibility in the tone, Mozart can sound a little bit conversational. And that's the bit that I think perhaps steers well-meaning people to think that it's good for younger singers. It's really hard, okay? Handel is even better uh, for people because it at least allows people the idea to, to have coloratura and, and good breath support and long, long phrases. Um, uh, uh, ombra mai fu, or, or piangerò, these things, you know, which demand absolute consistency. Here's Mozart's version, okay? Absolute consistency. Okay, can we try again? Okay. One more ah phrase, and then we're going to go back to the recit. Okay? Okay, okay. So when we're starting, allow yourself to feel very relaxed. Oh, no, no. I mean, that's the way the, f the word phrase is. Uh, be generous. That'll be another theme word today. Be generous. They've paid a lot of money to hear you. All right? So, some are getting it for free at home. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, just allow the generosity of your sound to phonate right at the beginning. Okay? Okay, the thing is, what's great is you are a musician, and you love the phrase, you hear the lyricism of it, and I want you to forget it, okay? I want you to absolutely treat this as an industrial exercise. You're absolutely making your voice just go straight in flow, okay? Can you abandon all sensitivity? All right. Okay, oh, did you have something at the end there? Don't want anything at the end. You shouldn't have any extra air at the end. Okay, I want you to have that flow so you, so it's, do you know what I mean? So, so that there's no phrasability there. I just want this seamless, okay. no dynamics, just this delivery, okay? okay? I know. Thank you, thank you. You're doing so well. And the trouble is that you love this phrase. You really love this phrase. And, and, and we can't help but feel the love. <laughs> uh, but I want to, um, uh, can we go from What's that phrase? Yeah. To ah. To ah, please. Okay, 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 very good. Apply what we're just thinking about. Apply this seamless delivery of sound. Seamless delivery of sound. It'll feel strange, go. Good, good, very good, very good, very good. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but they don't know that. All they hear is this, is this sound. 
They hear the delivery of our sound. Mm. And actually, because we're human and we have sensitivity, already it's informed. We don't have to do more. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the actual, the quality of Nick is already delivered by simply producing that sound. Okay, the Nickness of you is already formed. We don't have to necessarily gild it yet. All right? So let's just deal with that right now. Yeah. Same again, from the beginning, very first one. Be determined, be determined. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. And you know what? It doesn't matter what the language is. Mm. That tells me, that sound informs me that actually you're in love with something very beautiful. Mozart helps with the orchestra already. He's made it really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So our job is literally to produce our sound, our best possible, fully, committed resonance, our wholeness in this. This is so important to me as an artist. I spent my whole life looking for what is Jerry, okay? Beat me by 25 years. Find it this year, okay? <laughs> You'll save yourselves a lot of work. But I'm, I'm being very honest with you here, all right? This is something which the layers of interpretation You'll be inspired by the poetry, of course. You'll be inspired by the music, which is already beautiful. What we have to do is bring ourselves to this, but not just part of ourselves, not the bit which does the Twitter account, not the bit which, which uh, you know, does our Facebook page. That's not the bit. It's in here. And we have to be able to be honest, release it all. The challenge that the younger singers have, of course, is that if you've come up through choirs or you've come up through relatively firm teaching up until this stage, maybe four or five years, you already have habits. Habits where people have said, this is wonderful, can you do this more? And of course, we're dragged along by this sometimes. We want to please people, of course. We want to get to the Royal College of Music. We want to be able to please. Our formation our, as artists is already there. Be careful. Remember that your instrument is already beautiful if you don't get in the way. Just phonate, okay? That's the, that's the key to getting through this really tough repertoire, is just to discover who you are and phonate in your fullness. Okay? Now, I want to just take the recitative and show what this can do, okay? Because it applies to recitative as well, where we're providing not conversation, that happens on a stage, on a theater stage. In a recitative, we are using our trained projection voice, that wholeness that we have, to communicate what Mozart has written. So, can we just do the, the recitative where you started? It's just a perfect length to deal with. Cosa serve a battaglia finita fino alla cena per noi più saporita? Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Ian. I'm sorry, it was going to be a lot of this this afternoon. <laughs> um, so, yes, absolutely. You've already applied a little bit of what, what we're talking about. Fu la cena per noi più saporita. So, absolutely. Consider that to be a little arioso that, that the, the, the line of breath is still fully through it, okay? Can you just do that, that phrase? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Can you see already that the fullness of sound is already more generous, okay? You're being more generous with your sound. We understand the words even better. Every syllable counts in this. Okay, this is why recitative is so difficult, because we think it's conversation, and so we get these punctuation marks and actually don't quite understand what's happening. Yeah, so yeah. so, so that the projection suffers. 
So we need that base of flo flowing air through this, and on top of it, we give the words, right? Fia, again. Now, just try and f slow it down a little bit. I want to make it into a little bit of an arioso, mm -hmm. but I want you to just be conscious that every syllable has an equal domain. Fia la cena per noi più saporita. Great, great. Yes, yes. That's really amazing. I think it is. Okay, okay, so just tighten the, just not tighten, wrong word, just reduce the, the pacing of it or increase the pacing of it, okay? Just to contract the, the space in which those words happen, but with exactly that feeling. Okay, so s now we're getting to the end of the phrase, più saporita, because saporita is a preparation for ona, più saporita. Okay, I'm going to exaggerate now. This is not what you did, necessarily. Più saporita. Okay. Saporita. Oh, no. So it's already open, and all you have to do is take in the breath. Yeah. Okay? Fia la cena per noi. Fia la cena per noi più saporita. Okay. Can you give me, give me more consistency on rita? Mm -hmm. Breath consistency. Yes, consistency, absolutely. Delivery of, of phonation, yeah. Fia la cena per noi più saporita. Okay, okay, so now we get una. So we go to our ah uh, sound, ah, uh, and all the una, una, morosa. It should be all the same. Una, una, moro. All right. I mustn't demonstrate using half my voice. Oh, I mustn't demonstrate. So there we are. <laughs> <laughs> so self editing here. So. Just give me that. Okay, so it's full. It's Nick. Yes, in all your Nickness. Okay, okay. The first five were great. When we got to Rosa, we we lost it. Okay. Really concentrate right to the very end. Right to the very end. That's five minute warning, by the way. <laughs> Once more. No, let's, uh, sorry, sorry. That's fia per noi. Fia la cena per noi più saporita. Good, 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 good. It's good work. It's good work. But they're hearing beauty of sound and beauty of tone and beauty of line and passion. But it's work. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? It's work. Can you do it once more? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna remember it. Fia la più saporita. Okay, good. So the end of the phrase is porgera. So don't take too much time in the middle to, to waste over the top note, which you want to make a beautiful sound and all that stuff. You have a beautiful sound. It won't be more beautiful if you look after it. I promise you. So, um, uh, can you try that? Okay. 
okay. Don't, don't reach it. Don't, don't reach for it. Don't, don't place it. Don't place it. It's delivery. The voice knows where it lives the best. If we get in the way of putting, it's going to turn. It's going to be in that little place here. It's just, where does it happen? It knows. Alexander Technique, anybody? Hands up. Few. Okay. Alexander Technique is about interrupting our habits. And the way you interrupt your habit is to acknowledge what the habit is, firstly, and then to decide to let the body do what it wants to. Well, it applies absolutely to unpicking, if you like, habits that we have in singing. A common way to do it is to get there a little earlier than your brain is expecting. So trick it and just all core so that you're in, in the groove before it has a chance to go to prepare itself. So have a game with yourself and see if you can get there a little earlier without your habit of that. All right? Okay. Okay, so our ambition is porgera, yeah? So, porgera, even move it a little. I would just to break the... Okay, now in your earnestness, carefully, the, some of these R's are not rolled, okay? They're just quick, quick, they're not double R's. So, and it shows me that we're more concentrated on consonant than in on vowel, all right? Italian, all consonant few precise vowels. Yeah? Once more. Al cor. Al cor porgera. Ah, okay. What's wrong with that ah at the end? You just kind of fell into nothing. Really. So what are you going to give me now? Effort. And not, just not forget about it. All right. Very good. My job is nearly over. <laughs> Okay, even that, even that little bit at the end where you fall off there, it, it's, it's, it's curiously dissatisfying right. for us. We don't, I, I, we, what we hear is just a weakness. It's not an intended weakness, it's just that the sound suddenly falls off at the end. Mm. And of all the recordings that you hear, those ones that we love the most are the ones whose voices are always phonating. They always are generous right to the very end. They may go quieter, but what they're doing is they're still phonating, all right? It's, it would take another half hour of our time to investigate that further. Sure. But just see if we can find porgera. Okay, okay. I'm going to release you now to the wide world, and I'm going to say you've come a long way in just this brief time because you want to make this music beautiful, and that's fantastic, and I applaud you for that. What I'm trying to ask you is to allow the mechanics that you have, the potential that you have, is to, is to make sure that they are never underused that they're exploited to their full, you have a, that you have a very good uh, breathing opportunity to, to increase the solidity of your sound, to be able to seamlessly make this the most beautiful legato line that you can. Um, that your knowledge of Italian, that your sensitivity to the circumstance with Fior di Ligi, who you love with all your heart, is something that actually comes from an idea, not from a physicality. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so that you provide, you are the instrument, you are the clarinet reed there, and your body here is the, is the gorgeous resonant tube through which that air passes seamlessly and phonates in its, in its Nick Pritchard excellence. All right? Go away and do it, okay? <laughs>
Yeah, great. You will listen to what we're saying with the English as well, because yeah. it's going to apply absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Ian. So, hi, can I introduce you? Yeah. Bradley Travis? Yeah, this one. There we are. Wonderful. So, Bradley, what have you brought? I've brought uh, Figaro's at Four Aria mm -hmm. um, and The Estuary by Michael Head. Okay. So, what would you like to sing? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Um, I really don't mind. I okay. I don't want to try and double block you. No, no, fine. <laughs> okay. I don't know the estuary, so I'd like to hear it. Okay. Cool. You Thank go. you very much. and peace lie on the broad sands, on the salt marshes, the sleep of the afternoon. The sky And stand steadfast, level and clear over the dew. There are the voices of children, musical and thin, not far nor near them. Sandy hills as the light begins to wane, so the tide comes in. The shallow creek at her feet silently fills, and silently like sleep to the weary mind, silently like evening after day, the big ship bears in shore within shore wind, changes her course and comes on up through the Along the ferry channel she knows, surging along right on top of the tide. I can see the flowery wreath of foam at the bows, the long right oar streaming away from her side. I can see the flashing gulls that follow her in, screaming and tumbling like children worthy at play. Home with the 
Great, great. What a lovely piece. Thank you very much. Very much. Okay. Um, how long have you known this? Um, I think I've known it for about a year. Okay. Yeah. So what you're singing with is a year's sort of approach yeah. to, to it. Yeah. Um, great. Okay. I would like to look at where you... Um, I kind of lost my my connection with you in yep. once we got it to once rolling we got to mm -hmm. uh, rolling along, surging along right top of the tide. Yep. Now, in a similar sort of way to what we were dealing with with Nick, yeah. um, your diction is is you're working hard at your diction, which mm -hmm. is which is in, which is commendable. What I would love to feel is that again we're we're attaching the idea of diction with the idea of a freedom, yep. a freedom of, of, of sound. So that not only are we kind of, um, uh, it, uh, particularly as, as you get into this energetic part of the song, yep. that we feel that you, your energy is being released, that it's, that it's starting to really flow, <laughs> and, and that the, the picture, actually, from, from, the, from the image that you're, is also expanding, that we're getting that feeling yeah. of surging and rolling. So that the so that the end, this is my initial impression, yeah. is is coming home. Is yes. that that you that you, there's a sense of being tossed, turned, and being, if you like, on the open seas, and then coming home yeah. to to so that we have a sense that you've let go and that you're coming coming back, coming back to rest. Yeah. Can we try that from that um, rolling along? Yep. Yeah. And with words and everything. Oh yes, yeah. yes. <coughs> For now. Rolling along the ferry channel she knows, surging along right on top of the tide. I can see the flowery wreath of foam at the bows, the long right oar streaming away from the side. I can see the flashing gulls that follow her in, screaming and tumbling like children wildly at play. Great, 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 great. Fantastic, Ian. Wow. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is, so, so the, the children wildly at play. Yeah. It's my impression that this becomes hard work for you. Okay, yeah. What I'm feeling out there is that yeah, uh, you're just a kind of at the ed end of your your resources okay. here. Yeah. And what I want you to feel is that it's it's this kind of there's much more of you to to come, but you're not letting it. Okay. All yeah. right. Not letting it review. Ah, no. Not letting it out. So this is one of our our challenges as performers is to always make sure that we keep something back that there's always that instinct that we could give more, but we're just, we're just holding, hold, do you know what I mean? So yeah. we're not at the edge of our, it's, it's what I feel is when you hear a wonderful uh, uh, instrumentalist, that you feel that whatever complicated bowings or fingerings or whatever, they could just, they are giving us, you know, things which are already dazzling, mm. but you feel that they're not quite at their edge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for us, it's also important yep. that we sing within ourselves, because if we, particularly in the moment of performance, we might just release the break, mm. and that can blow things, particularly in a technical way. We can, we can strain, we can, in our exuberance, to give the big climax, we open everything up, and it can't cope. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So that the so that in fact in the end it's it's gone, it's being not wasted necessarily, but it's it's taken more than than we've offered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so let's go to, now. We yes, rolling along the deep, the fair dear channels, you know. And I want ro I want a nice open barrett uh, bass the, this. The, the base of Bradley in okay. here now, yeah. all right? And I want to see where we go with that because I feel that you might, you might be, well, anyway, let's just see how we go. <laughs> the rolling along the ver and nice and relaxed. Yeah. Ro rolling, uh, nice and rolling open, yeah. open, open, open. Rolling along the fair deep channel she knows, searching along right on top of the top. Oh, okay, very good, good. There, now, there's a good clue. Right, mm. right. Can we think about a more... Um, now, all people who sing English, this applies to you. It is a very difficult language to sing in because there are many diphthongs. There are, and the core uh, of our language can sometimes come from where we originate from. So that our actual response to any words, for me, rolling along the fair deep channel, she knows. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, when I first came here, this is not. In, if, if I heard someone saying, it's rolling along the fair deep channel, she knows. <laughs> All right? Yeah. So we have to find a middle ground so that the entire English-speaking world understands yeah. what you're doing. But in a way that we, that we, again, we produce an ah vowel, which is the best singing vowel that we have, uh -huh. because that's where our fundamental lies yeah. on ah, so that it might not be so much right as right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, and there's two advantages to this. One is that you sing in your, in your most resonant possibility, yeah. which is the more beautiful j donation to the, to the audience. Yeah. The next thing is that it allows, um, uh, you, you then open, you then allow yourself to be relaxed. Yes. All right? Yeah. It sounds ridiculous to worry about a word like right, which is a very normal word in a beautiful song, but we have to pay attention yes. to this. So it's right. Now, the fashion, and the French people, French singers will know this too, that the fashion for language in recent years is to make it much more conversational, much more appropriate to what we hear with, from <clears throat> singers who use microphones. <laughs> We've had 60 years of singing with microphones. Mm. The last really non-musical use of microphones, uh, the non-use of microphones in musicals was probably Rodgers and Hammerstein. Yes. All right? Can you imagine eight shows a week without a mic? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that's a thought. Um, so we have a resource here, which we have to guard. We're not using microphones currently <laughs> in the profession, yep. all right? The phonation and projection happens all within us. So we have to provide an environment where our resonance allows the understanding of a vowel and the projection of the text, but in a way which we wouldn't be caught dead speaking. <laughs> Yeah. All right? Yeah. So, ro rolling along the paddy channel she knows. <laughs> would not, you know, rolling along the paddy, you wouldn't do that. No. But for singing, for line, and for projection, for, for music delivery, we have to incorporate that. Yep. This is one of our hardest jobs as English speakers singing English music. The Germans singing their leader, of course. Fischer Diskau sang with Italianate diction. Yeah. But the way he did it made everybody think that he was just speaking. Yeah. All right. So he had an impeccable delivery of sound at all moments. His, his technique was about legato. His enunciation was because his, 
his diction was very, very precise and, precise and loose. It wasn't about suddenly he changed the, the singing world by, by making Wolf sound conversational. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough history and, and justification. Let's, <laughs> let's actually get to right. Yes, where's yeah. that? Sorry. Right on top of the tide. The fair deep channel she knows surging along. Right, right, right. But there's not a lot of time to do the i sound. So ra, right, right. Now, the reason is, is because if we went to right, it would close the phonation space very high, and we would, our larynx would go up, and we'd be using that part of our voice a lot. Yep. But we want that bit. So right, right, right. Yeah. Okay? okay? See if we can take this. Isn't it great to think that our entire language has to be sung like an Italian? <laughs> I think this is, a, this is a big challenge for us to get in our minds. To be the best singers of our language, we have to deconstruct our, our whole word structure. Let's have a go. Okay. Rolling along the fair deep channel she knows, surging along right on top of the tide. I can see the floaty wreath of foam at the bows, the long okay. right walls. Okay. Bows. 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 Not two bows. Okay. Bows. Ba bows. Okay. Yeah. But absolutely. Yes, yes. Before the first two phrases. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay. same again. Same again. Yep. Now, see if you can start to apply this in everything that's going on. Now, in flowery, mm. flowery, just a, don't try, don't work up there. Do as we were doing with Nick and just get there. Okay. Just, just be there. Be don't there. flowery, flowery, flowery wow. wreath of the foam at the yes. bows, of the bows. Rolling along the fair deep channel she knows, surging along right on top of the tide. I can see the flowery wreath of foam at the bows, the long right oar streaming away from her side. I can see the blushing gulls that follow her in, screaming and tumbling like children wildly at play. Okay, good, good, good. good. So we'll, we've relaxed those first couple of phrases now. Yeah. Now, as the, as the tension builds up, of course, our breath starts to fail and <laughs> we start to get a little tired, mm. which is then why we start to enunciate a little more and, yeah. and we lose the, the flexibility here to allow the sound to pour out. Yeah. All right? Particularly, now, your other choice of piece was aprite en po. Yeah. Yes. So the, 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 those of you that know it, you'll you recognize this. Um, the triplets at the end. Da 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 Non se in ton pietà, no, 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 no. So that should all be open in the same way as this should be open. So you can take what we're doing and apply it there, just so you know. So I can see the flashing gulls that follow her in. I never have really understood that. Okay. All right. So, now, there's an interesting word here before flashing, and it's C. Mm. Now, do you want to just do that interval? I can see. I can see. I'll try that. I can see. Okay, so start with I. I. Can. Can. Now, in this place here, C. Let's try not to get too narrow in our in okay. our phonation. See, I want you to feel very relaxed here. See, 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 see. I I can see. All right, I can see almost see, but it's a relaxed thing. It's not okay. Let's try. Okay. I can see. Okay. So it's interesting because the what Bradley, the, the Bradleyness here, which puts the can in a very North American spot. Huh. Uh, <laughs> I can't, 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 uh, I can't, uh, I can't. Can. Now, you can also might say, I can, 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 can. sort of like can. What's that, E-H? Can, okay. I, I can see. Now, if you get that I can see, maybe you can then link those two. I don't know okay. your voice well enough yet. Okay. Just try. 
I can sing. Okay, can was successful. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Now, C, let's see if we can, we don't want to get C. No. C, C. but, yeah, mm. well, not, not with C either. No. I can see, see, I can see, I can see. Pretty close, pretty close. Yeah. I, we could afford, this is a, okay. It's a B natural in the baritone voice. Big transition moment. So we, we don't know whether this is um, a moment of openness, mm. of looseness, or whether it's just allowing it what, we would, what I would call turn. Yep. Hmm. Whether it's an E vowel or something, all it is is the E vowel on a B natural in Bradley. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Doesn't have to be. Oh well, you must turn here because he's. You know, it's Bradley's version. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whatever it is, right for you. But I'm. That's why my ears are telling you what's right. Okay. Yeah. So I can. I can see. Oh, 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 okay, okay. No, don't, don't, don't lose can. Okay. I can see. Okay, that's that's probably the best so far. Okay. I would. I would. Yes. Now, how do we go on from there? <laughs> the fla the flashing fla think think of that now you have a f and a l mm. and an a uh. yeah. fla what i would go is the a uh sound okay don't, don't worry about the f <laughs> all right because that's tension here mm. Mm. and yeah. there so <laughs> we're already tense i can see the f trying to the ashing the ashing goes okay. Try. Now, can you just do this to ah, uh, just to try? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, uh, okay, don't forget ah. Uh. Uh, okay, now, in that top bit, on, on, on that note, which is the highest on the stave, yeah. let's not work for it. Okay. Let's just happen, let's provide what is needed for your voice to arrive there. And I want you to do the whole phrase so that we're not lingering on that. Ah, uh, come okay. off it. Ah, uh, try. Uh, okay. Now think of it just just a little more contained, okay. but for, for not not ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, but ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. That seems just a little more spontaneous. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wrap this up, wrap yes. this little moment up, and, and put it in your pocket, okay? This is what you can go away and really have fun with. Yeah. All right? And use someone else's ears. Yes. Okay, for what then feels, because we can't assess ourselves. We can't on, on our own. We have to use someone else. Yep. Ian, you're hired, all right? <laughs> you're hired to tell to tell Bradley when that sound rings the best. It can be uh, oh, uh, mm, but <laughs> somewhere he's going to feel it where you go, yes, Bradley, that's the sound. Yep. And you have to monitor what the feeling is, is not the sound. Okay? Yep. Singers should chop these off. Okay? Just don't listen to your voice. Feel it. All right? Feel the sound. It could save years <laughs> of your training. Um, so let's go. I can, I can see the flashing goals, flashing goals that follow her in. Now, ah, ah, ah. I can see the flashing goals that follow her in. Good, good, fine. Ian, would you like to join? <laughs> Given the chance. <laughs> I can see the flashing gulls that follow her in, screaming and tumbling like children wildly at play. A sea crescent are rising, pallid and clear. Okay, so, great. So we have the culmination of the dynamic of this song. Yep. All right not wanting to run before we can walk because there's you you can you can see comes twice you can see the flowery you can see the flashing yes yep. so they have they should be the same yes yep. 
So that, they're very good to work on. Now, the children wild at play. Now, what I want to feel is that there's a growing exuberance okay. with, within you. Uh, but I don't want to disrupt the, 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 the actual mechanic of singing it. Do you want to? Yes, I know sense? what you mean. Yep. So it's just a sense of being drawn forward, that your eyes light up somehow. And this may help actually freeing the, the voice up a bit. Yeah. May we go from rolling along and just feel that the, the children are worth watching and that the, um, uh, then a seaborn crescent arising and that is the biggest wave that is, that is tumbling out of you. And that, that should have a sense of exaltation which, as I say, is still within your control but arising, arising, ar 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 so we have to investigate the ah the ar space for you on a D sharp, on yep. the ah vowel, okay, yep. to make it unified. It may yep. not feel as though it's part of the same thing, but we will, you will in the next month or two, discover what that unity is. Yep. Okay? Okay. So from rolling along. Rolling along the fair deep channel she knows, surging along right on top of the tide. I can see the flowery wreath of foam at the bows, the long bright oars streaming away from the side. I can see the flashing gulls that follow her in, screaming and tumbling like children wildly at play. Good, 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 good. The what? The flat? flat safe twilight shore. Okay. Now, there's too much sound now. There's too much delivery okay. of, of... So, it's, it's worth noting that it's not all about giving out all the time. That <laughs> yeah. what we want... The, the flat, the, the flat safe... It still takes work. Yeah. It still takes control of the, of the delivery. But we have to balance how... It's just a simply less flow. Yep. All right? Yep. Um, yes, let's just go from that moment, the flat safe, the flat safe twilight shore shelving away. The flat safe twilight shore. Okay, okay. Doesn't mean that there shouldn't be any more space, that there should be less space for the resonance. Okay. It's just less breadth. Okay. And that's the control, not, not, not here. We're not shutting yep. down anything around our Bradleyness okay. here. Okay. Yep. The flat swift twilight shore shelving away. Okay, I'm going to be very critical now. Your A vowels, your E, your E, your e and A are too, are too shut. Okay. Okay, yeah. I don't Maybe. feel your sound coming. Okay. The flat safe. And remember that safe is safe. Yep. Safe. That's how we will process it. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Once more. The flat safe twilight shores. Okay. Remember, flat safe twilight. Now, twilight shore. <laughs> okay? Yeah. It sounds ridiculous when you break it down, but actually that's... that's it is. Yeah. The, okay. The flat safe twilight shore shelving away. So that y yeah, comes right, right at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah? And actually then it allows your resonance to dwell in that in that vowel for a long time. Yep. Yeah. Alright? And that's very much more pleasing because it demands your airflow. Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay. Whether remembered or dreamed or read of or read of or told. Yeah. Very good, very good. 
Can we have this slightly less? Yeah. Less in what terms, would I ask? Um, just in breadth and maybe less in tenths. As I bring it into yourself yeah. a little more and see whether you can bring us okay. in. Still with, the, still with the flow, though, yeah. still. special moment. Okay. I would, now that you've come right in, just allow it to actually live a more. bit. Okay. You've got a nice, I think you have a nice position for it in your mind. I think it just needs a little a fuller, yep. fuller, you are after all sharing it with 400 people. <laughs> so although you're trying to create a mood of this is very precious to you, it still needs a little bit of presence. Okay. Uh -huh. yep. Now, uh, the br now, don't be f the allow the voice. To don't don't restrict yourself on brave ship. Okay. Bre remember, it's brave, 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 and let the voice happen where it happens. And don't worry about how quiet it is. It should be beautiful. Okay. No, the weather or dream. Whether remembered. Okay, 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 before we break the spell, which is what you've done, okay. thank you very much, is to now just re-engage re mm -hmm. that element of, con of consistency, okay. of, of that, that constant presence, okay? It's gone very, very well. You've adopted a lot of things. Just the last, literally the last phrase, now dwell, uh, dwell, now remember dwell, dwell, now ever, ever more, or is that what it is? Dwell, dwell. Dwell with me ever. Yeah. Dwell with me uh, ever. Now, you're going to have to find someone that finds the best eh yeah. uh, uh, sound for ever. All right? Yep. And don't, don't close too much on the river. Mm -hmm. on, on, oh, oh. Well, it's not quite in the right, the ideal spot for Bradley at the moment. For mm -hmm. r r r r r might be even, it might, r r might, might be towards E. More E, okay. R but w it's at its most efficient. This is what I'm trying yes. to find. The sound isn't overblown and it's not closed. It's, not it's somewhere <laughs> in the middle there, all right? Yep. Which we can find. Yep. Okay. okay. Weather. Weather. Like a lie. 
Very good. We have um, what seems to be known as question and answers now, um, which I'm very happy to entertain. If, if I have the answers, I will give them. Um, I just wanted to reflect on just those two uh, hardworking young lads. This is to, to take in the sort of information that I've been offering today is actually extremely difficult because it's actually asking them to it's, it's asking them to incorporate some technical ideas with the idea that they will improve the song by dealing with these technical things, which is a, which is a, a sense of trust, and I'm very grateful to them both um, for doing that. I think it's one of the things I hated most about college was doing master classes as a victim, um, <laughs> because you were supposed to incorporate so many things at once, so thank you very much for your bravery as much as anything. Um, does anyone have any questions about either what's just been gone ahead or whether I have a dog or, <laughs> or anything or lifestyle of a, of a working singer? Does anybody wonder? Yes, thank goodness. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. The question was, was there any advice about not letting consonants get in the way of a line? And that is correct. <laughs> Don't allow consonants to get in the way of the line. Um, the way that you can think about consonants is that they are simply um, uh, what I would like to call, they're the, they're the ticket booth for the next train. All right, so you put your ticket down and you, or you get your ticket for the next vowel. All right, and it's actually very useful to think of the consonants as things which are as well supported and sung and delivered. So that um, uh, just thinking, una ora morosa is just the R's and the M amorosa are, are, are done with the same application of the flow of breath. The Italians love it because they can, they can still, uh, on their double consonants particularly, the L's and the M's um, and the S's, they're all very much supported every time they enunciate. So this is that sense of delivery. So that's why we can hear their language so, uh, so clearly, because they invest in the consonants as much. But it is a moment. It is that moment, and then it's onto the, onto the open vowel. Yeah. Ah, OK. Or dealing, uh, that question is dealing with stage fright. Um, yes. Deep breathing beforehand, the idea of stage, of, of nervousness, I suppose. The idea of, of being nervous is, first of all, a good sign, I think, in a performer. <laughs> you want to have that energy nice and high. It's a very good concentrating of the mind. Um, the way to deal with it, I think, is through, there's this wonderful uh, 
breathing exercise, the combat training exercise, when you're confronted by a, in the field apparently, this is what, what the idea is, is that you inhale for four counts, you then hold for four counts, and you exhale for four counts. And this has a, apparently an effect of modulating the, um, uh, the, 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 the delivery of oxygen to your brain, which means that you're not thinking about 100 things at once. Um, so try that before you go on. Sometimes just four breath, four counts in, four hold. I don't, I don't know how many times you should repeat this, but uh, probably not very good on the middle of a recital platform. But in any case, deep breathing, of course. That's the and and focus. And in fact, if you're a performer, you're out there to share your soul. <laughs> so that's going to be a nerve-wracking experience, but. That's the choice you've made. Go for it. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about low song handles, as far as repertoire choice goes, especially for young singers. Yeah. Do you have any other suggestions to say about them? <laughs> ah, well, and yes, of course. Um, any of the bel canto, any, any of the bel canto, particularly of the aria antique. You know, I grew up with those. Uh, Bryn Turville talks about it all the time, that that's what he that he did, although he did a lot of leader as well uh, when he was um, uh, first starting out at the Guildhall. And I think that's a, I, I think really the most important thing. I mean, if you're talking about technical, you know, trying to improve your technical ability, those are the sort of things that you should, you should base yourself on. Um, if you're talking about things that you want to sing, then of course it's completely up to you. Thing, and I think, there are two, two versions of repertoire, the things that you can sing and the things that you want to sing. Um, we have to be very, it's your teachers and your uh, vocal coaches and those that you have to, I know it's hard sometimes to say, well, they're making me sing this and I don't, oh, I haven't got the, anyway, they're probably doing it in order to stretch you a little bit or they're doing it in order to pull you in a bit. Okay, so be advised well, okay? That's my advice for repertoire. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes. Um, have you talked to us very briefly about your breathing and your support? Are you a natural, do you, do you not think about it very much or do you have time to pass your breathing? Uh, well, to be, the very honest answer to that is I'm still learning. Um, support. Support is one of those enigmatic terms um, which we all hear, but, but teachers have very, very different ways of deciding what that is. For me, support is about this thing that I'm going on about, this continuous uh, generosity, the idea of the, f of the flow of air beginning and not allowing anything uh, to interfere with it. There's no... There's no um, uh, the idea is to, to make sure that all the muscles here are, are not extra engaged in terms of holding the larynx in a position um, or phonating in a way which is beyond itself. So that the, the impulse of breath comes from the diaphragm, absolutely, and, and muscles that are involved in making the diaphragm work. Um, and not to constrict here in the throat at all, but to allow the flow of air to make the sound and into whatever individual's phonation space and resonance is. Do I think about it when I'm performing? No. That's the studio work. Um, the exercises that, that I think that I should be doing absolutely every day often don't get done every day, but they ought to, because then I wouldn't worry about that. But I would feel that that's absolutely, it's a critical part of, it's like doing weights at the gym or doing those, you know, doing, doing, a, um, uh, doing the running on a track. It's just basically getting things into a position where when called upon, they can do the work. The, these these support, supporting muscles. That's what I would say. So that your studio work, your own work is about learning music, but in that learning of music, you're applying your 
technical requirements to try and find the best vowel, to try and find the best resonance, to try and find the best way to put your own personality on it. Okay. Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I would not. I would not be critical of anybody who wanted to sing until until they fell over. Um, it's obviously, if it's an enjoyable experience, obviously the, the 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 voice I think reflects our stage of life um, because it's linked to our experience. It's linked to all the 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 wear and tear of our lives, uh, physically as well as mentally. Um, I would say that, in fact, the, the rich, I mean, as a singer in their mid-career now, um, I feel that w my, the, the enjoyment that I had as a younger singer came from the ability to do things which were risky. Now I have to be much more careful about doing things which I won't be able to recover from as quickly. So I do have to rely much more on a technical element of it, but I don't think there should be any singers. I mean, Placido Domingo, I think, is probably our best example of somebody who's just going till he dies, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and I don't think anybody would say that that voice has got any weaker. Uh, it's changed color, perhaps, but he's adapted, obviously, his repertoire in order to do that. Um, so my advice is to enjoy it. Um, to, to keep, yes, keep the muscles active. I think, this is, I think there's a common feeling that um, the ability to maintain muscle mass as we get older is, is perhaps uh, falls away a little bit, but that doesn't mean that we don't have strength. We may have to breathe more often. I think that's the only thing that, uh, that uh, 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 more mature singers will have to deal with, just breathing more often. Anyone else? So he's, yes. I think that's a wonderful question. The question is, do we as performers, when we have an idea of how we interpret um, our role or our song or our, or our performance, is that what in fact gets transferred? And I have to say that often the mechanisms by which we perform go through a transition so that an audience or listeners will feel something different than perhaps one intended. It's something that's very useful, I think, to look at your performances on, on DVD, because then you can be on the receiving end of what's going, coming over. Often we feel very, very specific things inside which go for absolutely nothing, uh, which is extraordinary. I think, well, I'm sure I doubled the consonant there, and I'm sure I was singing you know, this, this, with this intensity. And yet, you know, in, on reflection, if one's able to analyze it, it's a very useful tool to, to have your own performance either criticized by others, which is what we do all the time, um, to see if we're actually delivering what we, what we think we're offering. Sometimes it can work, and in, I'm very glad that, that it did reach the parts that I didn't know I was reaching. <laughs> often that can be a way. We can often find that uh, our thoughts are not, uh, are not what is being delivered. So, yes. So, do I have do I think about my insecurities as a singer and has that changed has that affected me? Um, I've always wanted to be a better singer. 
than I am. Um, I hope that that's the, the, the reason that I do this day in and day out, um, is, the, is the quest for being better than I, than I am currently. Um, if I've had the chance to listen to things that I've done many years ago, I think, gosh, you're, you were better than you thought you were then. Um, yes, self-doubt is a very good thing, I think, for an artist. Um, it means you're questioning, it means you're, you're looking for answers, and possibly you're listening to other people, and that is very, very important. Uh, we have a, a certain sense of what we can do ourselves, but it's often those people who ask us to do things. For instance, Hans Sachs. I, did I think I had a Hans Sachs in me four or five years ago? Not at all. But someone asked me to do it, and suddenly it was available, and you know, for all intents and purposes, it went fine. But I, I'm perhaps put myself in the doubting position and said, no, I'm, maybe I can do better. So, and particularly at college, this is a very, very safe place to have those doubts and ask your teachers, is that okay? They will often say, not quite. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Um, unless there is another final, yes, go on. Yes. <clears throat> sure. Yes. So the question is, um, uh, I alluded to the fact that choral singing is a challenge to break away from if you want to become a solo singer. The whole, I, the whole ethos of choral singing is about blend, is about being part of a corporate um, uh, environment. It's very difficult to feel um, your own centeredness within a choir. It's very difficult to do that. You generally adopt the sort of sounds that are around you, which makes a choir like King's sound the way it does, it's because within that resonant space, people then adapt to, their, to, to, the, to the group dynamic. Um, so the challenge coming away, coming out of a choir, how do you gain strength then? Or how do you then become a stronger singer if you still want to be part of a choir? That's fantastic. Music making in all its forms is very, very, very precious. And the more singers there are in the world, the better as far as I'm concerned. So what I'm saying though is in terms of habits which you can be made aware of to free up your own singing has to be done in a very, very precise way. Um, it means that we have, we can, and of course, where do we want to go with our singing is the other, is the other challenge. As a choral singer, as a soloist within a choir, these are wonderful opportunities to, to, to use this, this instrument which you carry around with you all the time to be part of wonderful music making and to, to be in a relationship with other singers. And I think that's a fantastic, uh, fantastic opportunity, but I am very aware that people who then come out of choirs do have these challenges about do they sing like a choir person or do they sing like a soloist? And these, this is difficult transitional time. It took me the better part of probably 10 years, I would say, because I was a really committed chorister, and yet I couldn't find the dynamic or the strength. I didn't... I, didn't have the material either in my intellect or in opportunity to get away from that until I went to a very, very demanding physical teacher who, who, who demanded pure physical exercises out of me. And that seemed to suddenly gear me into a, into a solo career. But it's a very, very useful question. No, choirs is, for me, the reason I do this uh, business. That was my, my big introduction. So. I'm very grateful for that. And, of course, then the launch uh, into a solo career. So, uh, we're going to carry on. Thank you very much. Uh, Caitlin Frizzell? Yes. Frizzell. There we are. How 
you do? How do you do? I'm very well. Nice to meet you. You too. <clears throat> so, uh, Caitlin, Kate, is going to sing us. Well, she's given us a choice of two uh, items in English. So I'm uh, well, in fact, American. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very grateful. Can you just tell us a bit about what you would like? Let's go for it. You can sing what you want. I get to pick? You get to pick. Oh, gosh, that's scary. Uh, let's do the Heggie. You going to tell me about it? Yes. Uh, Jake Heggie is an American composer who is still living, actually, and he does quite a few sessions at Songfest, which is in California over the summer. I want to go, eventually. Um, He's well known for writing songs like this one, which tell stories and are highly accessible to the culture of today. So it's not lofty poetry so much that he writes, which is great and has its place, but it's more of a accessible mm -hmm. thing. Tell me about this particular piece. Uh, it's the story of, so it's taken from a cycle called At the Statue of Venus, which is about a soprano who is on a blind date and is waiting for this man to come to her. This is the fourth song in the cycle where she's reflecting on her life as a child and how it was as she was growing up in her home in a way that almost everyone can relate to. Lovely.
Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, <clears throat> have you performed this previously? Nope. This is your, is this a first outing? It is. Of it. Okay. So, uh, what brought you to it? Uh, <coughs> I heard it in a recital that was given by a colleague, mm -hmm. my undergraduate, mm -hmm. and uh, loved it. Yeah. Fell in yeah. love with it immediately. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, the whole audience was crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so. absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, um, so we get it in a very kind of tender stage right now. Good. Yes. Oh, that's great. That's Two great. Months. Two months. Oh, my goodness. Over summer. the summer. It's summer work. So, well, thank you. First of all, thank you for bringing uh, a modern composer to, to us today. Um, our relationship with contemporary composers uh, is vital for us uh, because without today's composers, we haven't got tomorrow's music. So thank you for that. Um, and obviously, Jake Heggie is one of the most influential uh, writers of um, English music, having written Moby Dick and Dead Man Walking. Um, these are now pretty much part of the repertoire, certainly in, in the United States, yeah. as, uh, um, as contemporary operas. So they're very successful and obviously very singer-friendly. Um, the idea that the poetry, it's Terence McNally, is it? Yeah, I think, um, that's my feeling. Terence McNally has been his um, co-librettist as well. And I think this is also Terence McNally too. So t using contemporary scenario for, uh, for material, it's, it's fantastic. Um, what I feel is that we have to be a little delicate in when we feel something speaks to us very directly, or if we think it's within our experience and we can share this, um, we have to be, I think we have to be aware that we don't underplay it. Does that make sense? That in case it's too fragile okay. for it. So, and I want to just turn, I just want to turn the heat up a little bit, okay? okay? In terms of the communication. Um, and I w just, there's two reasons for that. One is from a vocal point of view. I think, for, uh, it's my favorite word, generous. I would like you to be more generous in, in a couple of places. Okay. Okay, just in terms of delivering the, the scenario. Okay, it's a charming scenario. But I just want to get a sense of vitality to differentiate between where there's inner reflection and kind of intimate thoughts with, with um, as Charles Ives did so well was to sort of reveal a, um, uh, in Tom Sails Away, for instance. Yeah. Just, that, just that image of what, what life is like out there in one's memory, okay? So that's kind of a, 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 again, releasing an image to the audience without painting it too much, but also making it very treasured okay. internally, okay. okay? Sounds hard. <laughs> no, no, all it means is you just have to sing a bit more. Okay. That's a lot of words for just sing more. Uh, okay, can we start? Start again. So you're setting the scene here, and it's a generalized, obviously, thing. I, we dream, we often dream of being loved as, as we were as a, as a child. Yeah. So I want you to feel that, that, that you're taking responsibility for why you're singing the song. So in other words, it, at, night we, at, night, at night we often dream of being loved as we were as a child, compressing that. But I want you to feel that this is the inter, this is sort of the headline, or maybe the sub, the subheadline okay. of of the song. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So just, and I don't want you to be too romantic about it. 
I, I want you to be rather practical, okay. rather practical, black yeah. and white. Okay. Okay. At night we dream of love, of loving and being loved. Okay, so take a, so be, take take good care vocally of of and loved and being loved. So, so give yourself time and give yourself the space to say that. Okay. Okay. Just spread it out a little bit and fill it with sound. Okay. And, and, sorry, one more thing, just at na, at na. again, this sort of ah sound I would like, not too much, what uh, am I, doing? Uh, I would like a bit more A-W, ah, at night. And I'm spreading night. No, yeah, oh. oh, spreading, okay, good, this is good. See what happens, <laughs> As I've said something, she's coming back saying, well, does that mean that? So communication, okay, I, you have to know what I mean. <laughs> what I want is more, Oh. And what oh. I was doing before was. Was. Ah. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So, night. Mm -hmm. I want to see what that does to you. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect. So, think of that same thing as in on at. At night. So there's just a little more of that sound. Okay. Yeah. At night we dream of love, of loving and being loved like when we were children. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, yeah, you're really investing in this idea, which I appreciate very much. So we just have to adjust a few little things okay. now. So try not to, now, and is a hard word because it's, it's, not, it's not on the A-W side of life, it's on the E-H side of life. It's and more than and. Does that make sense? Yeah. Huh. So we have to get that air, eh, and you can then, I gave it the appropriate weight, but it was just in the wrong <laughs> vowel sphere. Okay. okay. But at night was, we, dr we, dr we dream of, the, of, of, lo of love. Now, make sure that love, that the L of love is stronger somehow than the V of love and being loved. So, does that make sense? Yeah. So, of love, it's the reverse at the moment. Anyhow. Yeah. Okay. No, but at night I was very pleased with that. Okay. At night we dream of love. Okay. D d try and give more L oh, rather than less V. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, I felt. Yes. It's the thing you were saying. You feel like you are, and it's yeah. actually not. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Good. At night we dream of love, of loving and being loved like when we were children. Okay. Very good. Kate, you're doing such a great job. What's happening now is that you're approaching those particular ah sounds very nicely, but we're not incorporating now the, the sort of repercussions around it. Okay. Does that make sense? So that I, I'm getting more ah sounds, love, and at night, and uh, but I want to get now the e sounds now are still a little bit. Close. I just want everything just to relax a little bit more. Okay. okay? All right. See, see, see how that. Yeah, yeah. At night we dream of love, of loving and being loved. Okay. 
Okay, interesting. It's really, it's, it's great. Now, our wonderful questioner talked about consonants. And what I'm feeling now is you're retiring from them. Yeah. Okay. I want you to invest in them. Okay. 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 At night we dream of love. Of love. And so, do yeah. you see what I mean? So yeah, just yeah. invest a little more with this flow and generosity. Okay. All right? Generosity. Yeah. At night we dream of love, of loving and being loved like when we were children, if we were lucky as I was. Okay, as, as I, as I, as I was. Now, the only th reason I'm picking it up is because that when, when you don't invest in that, the sound closes right down around you. Okay. okay. And actually the ear goes, eh. all right. So that's why I'm just trying to, to make sure that the, all your nice, beautiful resonances are, are carrying okay. into, into the theater. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Very good. Um, and like, like is also, like we were children. And I think children is probably the, the is lucky child. So I think when we were children is mostly the point of the entire first phrase. Yeah. Okay? So can we go from, um, from the second phrase? We dream of love. Yeah. It's called loving. If we were lucky. Yes, let's go, let's go beyond that, like, yes. Okay. If we were lucky as I was, I knew my parents loved me, and I loved them, I felt safe. Okay, very good. Safe, safe. Safe, it's safe, safe, safe. And then safe, okay. safe and protect okay. and protector. So there's a sense of uh, fullness in all these things. Yeah. And he's allowing you to go a little bit, I mean, he says more freely anyway. And I think you should perhaps start to seize the rhythm here a little bit and just flow a little bit more. I'm, I'm, yeah, I think Ian's probably being very, very nice and, and delicately metrical here, but I think you can probably s take it a little bit more and swing, okay. swing a bit more. All right? Uh, if uh, we were lucky. As I was. was. Yeah. If we were lucky. you to feel is just now what I'm going to ask you to do is you're, you're investing very well very well now let's just let's retrieve Kate here okay. all right let's if you've got those things in mind now you're being very diligent in applying what I'm asking let that happen now all right okay. and put Kate back in yeah all right from, from uh, I felt uh, I knew that morning would always yeah okay
Oh, okay, I have to great, great. Thank you for bringing Kate back. Yeah. But I'm just wondering if now, if you could just remember our application of on onness in this. Okay, so okay. I was loved, was loved, so that, so that we get the fullness of Kate, of of that resonance world. Okay. Okay. There's a there now. People might think this is an interpretive thing because actually you have a gorgeous what I would call a sweetness to, your, to the way you're, you're projecting the song, okay? But for me, I want a, just a little more substance. I just want, because I hear your voice when it opens up is really very substantially um, uh, colored, all right? And I want to be able to infuse the quiet bits with this same gorgeous coloring, okay? okay? So it more just... Meat. No, not more meat. It's more. It's what I would call volume. All right, in terms of, in terms of special resonances. If we if we contract it too much, it becomes a. a, a it's kind of like that. Okay. So yeah. if there's a sense of it, of it, of it filling the space here, with a tenderness. That's really what I'm after. I want to keep the tenderness, but I want to open the volume. All right, does that okay. make sense? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, particularly after a big phrase like that, I was, don't come back too much, but still keep the tenderness. <laughs> All right, okay. I knew that morning would always, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, absolutely. How does that feel? Uh, very free. I don't know. I'm not working. G good. So. Okay. <laughs> Great. But it's okay. You, you feel that's a, that's that's yeah. a, it's attainable. Yeah, definitely. It has the dividends are amazing, because actually, th with that sort of um, <clears throat> investment in in your own tone, it actually makes it more vulnerable, in a funny way. So thank you very much. Okay. Now, but don't revert to, to our original on child. <laughs> All right. Still, and may I suggest maybe a little nice, little, little more, ge uh, being a more generous in the middle of the phrase, yeah. as if you remember somehow that feeling of. So, and you just, in, just, just to be more generous in the middle of the note, and then don't starve it at the end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So from oh, I'd like to hear it again to prove it. Uh, yeah, I feel. Da -da -da. Yes, wherever we started the form form. I knew that morning. I knew that morning, yes. I think I did something wrong, sorry. Oh, now, sorry, one more thing. We have to be, we have to, I was a uh, lucky. It sounded at first when I heard unlucky. Oh. Uh, 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 so we just have to take care. Uh, I was a uh, lucky, a uh, lucky child. We'll, have, we'll come to that again, but yeah. just, just take care. Mm. I knew that morning would always. Very good. My th advice to you is, is to is to imagine it. It's just to just to just think, just, just think. Okay. Just think, because it's it, if it lives in your eyes, we I think we'll get it too. Okay. Okay. So not so much. Yeah, exactly. Just. Thank you. Okay. 
Is there a way you can, f you can actually sort of visualize it? One point? Yeah, yeah. just get, get that thought of Sunday night dinners, one of the banners. <sighs> just that element that you can just picture it in, yeah. in, up there. Okay. Yeah. And um, um, if you want to revert to our innocent small Kate, you can in this moment. From what I was doing in the beginning. Yes. Okay. okay. As if you're retrograding into a more childlike voice. Yeah. But it's a conscious decision. Okay. All right. Let's see how it works. I'm not sure yet, but. Okay. And and these are wonderful. The you know think of think of them as treasured, mm, special things. Yeah. Okay. Sunday. Very good, very good. Now it's interesting. What you, you're, you, what when I want to focus, I want to still focus. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. There's kind of, kind of a nice, okay. rocking thing going on here, <laughs> um, which is, which may be suitable for another part of the song. But I think for right now, you are the little girl who is still remembering playing the piano. Russell kissed me. That sort of. Randall, 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 not Russell, sorry, Randall. But uh, just Sunday night, just just try and grab Sunday night dinners over at gra over at grandma's. We'd all be together. Ah, oh, I remember it. Just and see if you can just physically, okay. just make your mind active rather than the physical. something completely different. Can you go actually in here? And as if Ian is sort of the person that you could refer to. Do you remember when we went to the uh, sa -da 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 wrestling with wrestling with cousins, yeah. And then break out the night Randall kissed. Yeah. Just see see how that see what that does okay. to to you physically. Okay. Just want to release that. Okay. It's a very touching part of the song, and I don't want to interrupt it. Yeah. But I'm just wondering if you can. Um, hmm. It's a moment when, when Kate of now is looking at Kate then, and so it has to have a bit of Kate sub. This Kate now substance okay. is my feeling. Yeah. That actually this is the most. This is the the vision that you have now, which is why it's precious to you. Even though it was innocently precious then, I think it needs to start to have a little, little, kind of deeper meaning, kind of more inside right. there. Okay, particularly about your father, and and make sure that that's father. 
is so that the generosity keeps going there, okay? So I, I'd say probably if this is your most tender memory, it's actually the kind of the most, it's the most how you invest your current technical self in what was. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Then pretending? Yep, perfect. When pretending to sleep in my bar riding home with my father and mother. Good. Wanting to hear the secrets they share. But mostly just wanting to be carried upstairs. Okay, so it's very special, tender moments these are. Mm, my feeling is that, that make sure that you re, uh, regain the speed in these intermitting things, so that these, these special things, angel, um, angel of heaven, uh, star from, angel from heaven, star from above, then has, a, has time to come back. Okay. So keep, it, keep yeah. it going, where it says, Good night, my little pumpkin, sleep soundly, my little love. So that, uh, so, angel from heaven, star from above, and I'd sleep. Then that love is, and then we get into the end. Okay. Okay, so that's, so whenever possible, regain the kind of, the moving on of the memory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so good night, my little pumpkin. Good night, my little pumpkin. Sleep soundly, my little love. Angel from heaven, star from above, and I'd Okay, very good. Try not to go over that harmony because it's so gorgeous. Uh, or, or okay. Ian, try and not change before she's That's finished the. Okay, for after I sleep. Them, sleep, of course. <laughs> but now, angel from heaven, star from above. As a father, as a father, that is angel from heaven, star from above. It's like the most precious thing that he he would say yeah. to her. So. If you can star from above, this is, this is where your technical challenge meets your tender challenge, okay? okay? okay. So really feel, and see if you can just feel his, the, the unshaven beard against your skin. See if you can just sense that whatever the familiar, ar ar <laughs> I'm gonna say aroma, the scent. The scent of of that of that uh, preciousness, yeah. okay, um, and and try and this is what this character is obviously feeling at this moment. It's the most reassuring, comforting, dependable thing that that you have for, in terms of love, all right, and it's why you're seeking it again. Yeah. So, angel from heaven, you want somebody to say that to you again. Star from above, all right. So, see if you can find the way that that manliness can be as tender as possible. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Angel from heaven. Yeah. Okay, very good. 
very good, very good, very good. So seeking, yeah, so yeah, absolutely. So that so yes, yeah, generous I get, and it's and it's, that love is so that you have an impulse already on love. So allow the aweness in this moment to feel the, the space there that you can fill with your okay. generous breath okay. again. Okay. That love is what I'm seeking to feel again. Okay, okay, again, now again, 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 because also the crescendo in there, and you have to allow the, the, the space in order to grow. Okay, okay. again, try. Do, that, that's just, again, just go, again. Yeah, just say again. Say it or sing it? Sing it. Okay, hmm. I would understand that as again. Would I know that in the context? Again, uh, maybe again. Try the uh, uh, again. Again. Yes, that's much better. Much easier. Okay, there we go. Go for ease. That love. That love is what I'm seeking. So these are, this is all transitional. This is sopranos, E flat, D, transition time. Okay, my thought is to keep it, keep it in this transitional space. Try not to anchor it in that direct oh, good. sound, okay. okay? Nice and easy, all right? Because you're safe and protected, indeed. So it should feel completely easy and, and full, okay. is my feeling there. To feel again, to feel again, and, and make sure that that's, and that, so that I am safe and, is the same place as again, I am safe yeah. and protected. Okay. Thank you. The love. Mm -hmm. yeah. That love is what I'm seeking to feel again, I am safe. to make some hard decisions here. Um, at this moment, you can't, you, you can't use two voices. You, you can only use one. And I think it's only, uh, the reason I say that, I'm not saying that you're making a choice to, to use two voices. But in this case, you have to decide to use a more uni unifying delivery, yeah. OK? Because this is, this is now Kate Soprano character in your full desire, is my feeling. Okay. All right? Can you offer that feeling I'm saying? Yeah. To wake each morning filled with, filled with. Now, hope, hope. We have to do something with hope. Um, my feeling is that hope is a growing thing. Or if it's growing, it then can come back. Can you offer maybe something like yeah. this? OK. That would be nice. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, and so that, uh, and so, and to know I am not, so that there's the same, the same cateness yeah. in this, in this world, all, all the, all the same, all right? Okay. It's, if I may say, it's the, it's the one thing that somebody like Rene Fleming just exceeds, succeeds so well at, is keeping that sound uniformity in, in this particular area which gives the listener such a feeling of relaxation. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and I'm sure it's within your sphere as well. So let's, let's, let's try and find that. Okay. Yeah? From two weeks? Uh, yes.
Terrific. Terrific. I'm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Kate has been able to adapt a whole slew of new ideas, um, and it shows that actually you're, first of all, willing to take ideas. You can go away and discard them all if you want, but I hope is that if you were, for instance, to review this, uh, w what we've just worked on, that you might hear sounds that you would be happy Repeating. Yeah. Okay. Just in terms of the whole consistency of the song. I mean, I, I would love you to have another opportunity to hear this song um, in its entirety, but I, I fear we haven't got time for it. Okay. okay. Because I think that the building blocks are really interesting now. Um, and it, it's just choices. Yeah. You have to make the choices with other ears as well. Okay? Okay. So congratulations, and Thank you very we'll much. see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry we didn't get to the call out line. So, great. Um, I just want to take this opportunity to thank Ian Tyndale for his sterling work. We have Morgan Pierce now. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. Very good. These are you. Yes, thank you very much. Very good. Very good. So, Morgan, we saw each other two years ago. That's right. It was actually, I think it was this week two years ago. Was it? It was the first week that I had at the, at the college. <laughs> okay. Just two years later. <laughs> very good. So, do you think it's worth doing the same thing or? Have we moved on? In two years, how do you feel? I hope I've moved on a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. So, uh, you have Benjamin Britten, and you have Gerald Finzi, and um, let's see, both are passionate works. Which, which is on your preferred I'd, list? I'd love to do the Finzi, actually. Okay. okay. It's all fine. Do you want to tell us about it? Sure. So um, this is a this comes um, late in, in the cycle, um, Earth, Fire, and Rain, and uh, this song is incredibly um, descriptive. Actually, um, it, this uh, the, the man in the song has recently experienced the death of uh, a lady close to his heart. It could be his girlfriend. It could be his wife. Um, and suddenly, in in amongst probably mourning, he sees this spirit appear before him. And he says, um, the spirit says to this man, he says, I can turn the clock backwards so I can, I can make her come back to life. Um, and of course, mm -hmm. the guy says, yes, absolutely, that, that's what I want because, you know, I want, to, I, I want it to be like the first day I ever met her. And, um, and that's, I, I've missed her so much now that she's gone. And Good. All I, I, want is to I have think her this back. will come in the song. I think it probably yeah. will. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. It's from Earth and Air and Rain. Yes. yes. Very good. Spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And the spirit said, I can make the clock of the years go backward, but I'm loath to stop it where you And I cried, agree to that, proceed. It's better than dead. He answered, peace, and pulled her up as last before me. When younger, younger she grew to the year, I first had known a woman grown, and I cried to see.
Great, great. Okay, a challenging song to keep the kind of keep the intensity of the um, uh, substance. Uh, that that the idea is that he's challenged death, presumably to roll back. And w what I'm hoping, uh, I mean, I, I, there are many things which which I'm you know I'm very happy to to hear uh, you know from you as an artist um, because it's very much something that you obviously enjoy doing and sing, and it's very much in you, and I don't want to disturb any of that. But I'm just wondering uh, whether there's just a sense that actually there's always the next bit of poetry still to come. Okay. So that we're not kind of laying back too much. I know it's part of a cycle, and so that some, therefore, you know, this, what I would call the stasis of it, the, the, the idea of watching something happen and experiencing the effect of it might be effective in an, in an overall arc because that would mean um, it, it's a break of variety for the, for the audience. But just I just want to see how flexible you can be in terms of um, just 
just carrying, carrying the movement forward, just, just a little bit. I think it's just a, a sense of making sure that all the, all the arcs, uh, the inner arcs, are part of a larger arc, because yeah. otherwise we kind of get to the end of the bridge and think, where are we now? And I mean, that's just my feeling, that we just lose intens intensity. Yeah. It's like um, something like a Schubert song, like um, Grenzen der Menschheit, where he puts it in cut, cut time, and you think it, it's an endless song, but actually it just needs forward movement. Just a sense, because it's a very dramatic song, and I want to feel that you have time to register the, the, the impact of what's going on and your desire for this thing to happen. Mm -hmm. that, but I also want to feel that the really the, the clincher is the final phrase. You know, it's your fault, yeah. basically. <laughs> you know, you, this, this suffering is your fault. So, um, and uh, I'm interested that you used the text at the beginning. That's interesting. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what, what to really do with it. Because in, in the score, he writes the, um, that first line above where the tempo marking is. And I, I don't know what, what, to really, what to really do with it. Because I've, I've heard performances and seen performances of people using it and yes. not using it. Yeah. I'm just, it's just interesting. And I think if you are going to use it, then I think it has to be, you have to, it has to be pow. Okay, and I think it has to be this dramatic, no one's expecting it. Okay. And, whoosh, and, and suddenly we hear a different part of you as a performer as well. So I think it's, you know, really sell it. And so, get, and the recitative, I think absolutely everything to the arrogance of the spirit. I can make the clock of the years go backwards, but I am loath to stop it where you will. That, you know what I mean? The real actor's sort of bravura there. And I cried, agreed to that, proceed. Yeah. So that there's a sense of really getting this story going. And then it happens. And then it happens. <laughs> and you see her as, as she was. And then it's out of reach. Yeah. Okay, so can you get these things kind of really heightened, both in speed and, and, and gravitas as yeah. well? Okay. Sure. Carry on. Oh, I'll read it. A spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And the spirit said, I can make the clock of the years go backward. But I'm loath to stop it where you will. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, that, that will grab people, definitely. Now, think of how you're going to do the final phrase, because that's the same voice. Yes, it was your choice to mar the ordained. So, and I, and I would like to feel that whenever spirit is talking or delivering, that there is that sense of command and of absolute authority. Okay? <laughs> See if you can... Yeah. Yes. Or are we going to the beginning? Just wherever you want to begin. I want to hear the, the <laughs> clock again, yes. Or the spirit, right. anyway. Um, a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And the spirit said, I can make the clock of the years go backward. But I'm loath to stop it where you will. And I cried, agree to that, proceed. It's better than Okay, death. yeah, good, good, good. So you're rather encouraged by the prospect of what this spirit can do. So I would keep the intensity of from your point from, from your point of view, absolutely agreed to that. Proceed. It's better than it's better than dead. Do, do you know what I mean? So keep keep. It's better than dead. And um, I'm sorry, we haven't been introduced. Hi, what's your name? Chad. Chad. Welcome, Chad. Um, so that it's better than dead. You have to time that kind of thing. And, and yet, that is one of the most important lines. It's better than dead, but it's your fault. Yeah. 
that you're feeling miserable. Okay. So, uh, but that was better though. I, I'm loath to stop away. You will. And I cried. See, and, I, and I cried, agreed to that. Proceed. Give it, give it, keep, keep the energy flowing right to the end there. It's, seed. It's better than dead. Okay, keep that link physically, if you can. And I cried, I agreed to that. Proceed. It's better than dead. Okay, now this is an interesting thing. You, it's, are you excited by the prospect of, uh, yeah, of this? Yeah, actually, it's funny, isn't it? Because I don't think the music says that, but um, I think I am excited. It's just better than dead. Like she, you know, she... Can you just play the triplet underneath, better than dead? You, just the piano part. Yeah, that's just bare. It's not, I don't think it's emotional to me, anyhow. Proceed, cha-da. It's better than dead. I would like energy okay. rather than, than, too, than too morose at this stage. I mean, it's like the, a perfect opportunity. You're a gambler. You're throwing the chip yep. down, OK? Uh, and I cried. Now, take your time. And I cried, agreed to that. So it sets. And I cried, agreed to that. I just want to hear. Yep. Um, and I cried. Suddenly, you're changing the voice. We need time as an audience to hear the transition to, to, the, to the, um, the protagonist, all right? So just take your time. And I cried. And I cried. I agreed to that. Proceed. It's better than dead. He answered. Okay, now, now, he has this glorious thing. He's very helpful here. Sostenuto e legato. And he cried peace. I think, think take authority again. And, and be, be magnanimous in your delivery. It's suddenly Philip II, all right? <laughs> suddenly, this is a nice Verdian moment. All right, piano, but but nice and, nice and long. I think this is because, because it then allows a great sort of authority and spaciousness. Keep that singing line going. It's better than dead. He answered peace and called her. Okay, very good, very, very good. I, I think you can be more legato now. and yeah. Just a real, just a, a, a sense of, I mean, it's all, it's suddenly a very big change from what we have had, big passionate outbursts. This is very controlled. All right, try. He answered his and called up as last before me. Okay, very good, very good. There are kind of useful yeah. breaths there. And really use them within the line. Really. And called. Try. He answered me. Okay, so now we're, you're doing great, great line now, but we're in we're in reverse. Okay, let's go forward. Right. All right. He answered peace and called her up as last before me. Okay, can you say and last before? And La last before. As last. As last. Oh, we tea. Night, yeah. Good tea. Good tea there. Uh, as the, last. 
just before. Yes. Now, now, don't. The longer you say the the t should be on the dot. If you last before we start to die, okay, we start to reverse. Okay, and the same goes for peace. He answered peace and called her up as last before we. Okay, so you know what I mean. So that the flow is continuing there, and and it's very hard for for Chad to encourage you because he's only got these block chords. Normally, normally pianists will help you move forward. Uh, but he hasn't got a chance. Finzi hasn't helped. You have to do it yourself. <laughs> he answered peace. Okay, okay. That doesn't mean, doesn't mean louder, and it doesn't mean less and more bumpy. It just means more. He answered peace. Yeah. He answered peace and called her. As last before me, then younger, younger she grew through the year I first had known a woman grow. Okay, very good, very good, very good, very good, very, very good. So younger, younger. So ying, mm, lots of mm, lots of support and and lots of vibration through the. Then younger, younger she grew to the year I first had known a woman. Oh, do you know what I mean? So that there is movement there, because then he says poco allargando. Mm -hmm. So you have to be moving in order to spread out. Yeah. All right. Uh, then uh, oh, do it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He answered. Okay. He can you go? Can can you go? He on rather he on he answered. He answered peace and called her. As last before me, then younger, younger she grew through the year I first had known a woman grown, and I cried as she. So he gives you a, and I cried cease, and I cried cease. Okay, just so we can really hear what what the the um, the derulement of the of the uh, of the story really is. These are absolutely ex you know hardy, mm, rich words, and they, sometimes we just need their time. Okay, make make the make, and he gives it, and I cried cease, uh, and and. And uh, don't crescendo, I wouldn't uh, exhaust yourself before that. First I had known her woman grown, and I cried to see, that's, yeah. that's forte there. No, no, no more before that, only up to mezzo. I mean, the idea of first had known her womanhood is full, but it's not, I, is my feeling. So you're not getting exhausted before time. All right, uh, then young, okay, so then, then younger, 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 try Then younger, younger, she grew to the year I first had known a woman grown, and I cried as she Okay. The piano diminuendos, but I think always, always is a real. There's still intensity in that. Sure. Is is my is my feeling. You're being very musical about it. Uh, let's carry on. Going very well. I'm wondering whether we should be in so involved at this moment, but, uh, I'm w or could you be more stunned rather than inward 
thinking I'm a, do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You get this, yes. Just, just, yeah. But alas for me. But alas for me. Oh, okay, what's going on there? What's going on there? Yeah, just, just nice steady tone on me, me. Alas for me, he shook his head. So, nice and uh, uh, that Just nice and steady, just nice and steady. Keep the vision. But alas for me, he shook his head. No stuff was there. She went child fair and to babyhood. Okay, okay. I th for me, this is a moment in the song where it's still, it's somehow this is the shocking bit, but alas for me, he shook his head. Um, no stop was there, and she waned child fair and to babyhood. It's like, what's going on? It, it, it. Benjamin Button all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, so, uh, but, al <clears throat> but alas for me. But alas for me. He shook his head. No stuff was there. And she Yeah, we, we need to help Finzi here, I think. Um, uh, we're being very sensitive to dynamic. Still in me to my great sorrow became she slowly. Just, just keep, keep our, I mean, keep, I think it's, you know, if that's 63 in two, I think. Yeah. To my gray, it's you're, it's unrolling before your eyes what's happening, mm -hmm. rather than in slow motion. Yeah. Okay, so can we go from there? Still less in mean. I keep right going to and small till she was not at all in his checklist griff, so that you really get to there. Uh, still less. Still less in mean to my great sorrow. Till she was not at all in his checklist grief. And it was as if she had never been. This is a delicate moment because we're kind of in the middle of holding her in his checklist griff and then waiting a little bit. And I think you should really spot, come right in. It's only a, it's only a quaver rest. Yes. And don't take too long here, Chad. Get to this chord. And it was if she had never been. Just, I think, I think, 
just needs that. Otherwise, we're, we're really <laughs> holding back the tide. Yeah. Okay? Uh, interlude after Chekhov's Griff. We're going to just press right against the hour and do a little excerpt from the piece aria by uh, Benjamin Britten uh, from Owen Wingrave. Uh, uh, I would love to, to hear this uh, little bit. Just an, just an excerpt. Yeah? Sure. Great. Not 
not lazy, but vigilant. This is not a quiescent, but searching. This is not weak, but strong, strong like a bird's wing, bearing its weight in the dazzling just want to say thank you to Morgan and Chad for offering in the Britain Theatre um, a bit of Britain in this Britain year. So uh, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, there, there's a few things which you, can, uh, you and I can talk about uh, uh, regarding this, but thank you all for your time and hope you've enjoyed uh, a little bit of the insight to what it takes to put all this stuff together. Um, I hope uh, for those of you that are continuing your studies that... Um, yeah, it takes a little work, but when it happens, it can be magnificent. And thank you for choosing to be singers. It's one of the least um, technological things you can do in this day and age. Um, you put yourself out there uh, to be communicators and um, artists, and I wish you every good wish and listen to those ears that are on the other side of the room um, and you'll get there, I have no doubt. Anyway, all the best. <laughs> good, okay, very good, very good. All the best. Thank you very much. We'll catch up with you. That's very good. Thank, um, you. thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> it's very hard to wish to follow that at all, um, but uh, I really want to express to Jerry uh, Heartfelt thanks, actually, for a fantastic, fantastic afternoon. We've got a, an introductory talk after this to the new artists and returning artists. And in many ways, I'd like to abandon it, just for people to think about what we've heard and uh, listened to this afternoon, because it really encapsulates everything that um, we strive for and wish for you. So, um, Jerry, it's an open house. It's, a, it's an open door to you every time you have time for us. And I hope you come back soon. And thank, thank you. you again. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Well, that's Morgan's stuff there. Good. Thank you. So much, thank you. Thank you. Whoa, lovely. Lovely to hear. Lovely to hear. <coughs> Great. And Ian's a. Ian's a hero. <laughs> <laughs>